what is up guys it's Jira bro back with the, another video in this topic we're gonna be talking about Jira service management more specifically we're gonna be talking about how you can actually customize your queues so the main question is what are the queues uh, queues is actually a filtered way of showing the requests within your Jira service management project and when I say filtered way, this is something that is being shown to the agents. So this view is the view that agents have. Now, the question is how you can actually uh, customize these queues. So actually you click on the queues and in here you're going to have your queue settings. So all of these queues uh, are, as you can see, in here so when I click on the queues this is what I have so these are the settings right and within this settings you can actually edit these queues and these queues mostly are based on the JQL so if some of you guys are not familiar with it with the JQL I suggest that you just dig in about the JQL Atlassian University has a great uh, JQL uh, for beginners tutorial so I recommend checking that one out so what we can actually do here so we have a lot of things in here these are actually all of the queues now the question is and as you can see in here it says the priority groups so this is actually pretty great because Within one service management uh, project, you can actually have, let's say, multiple departments that are actually taking on uh, the, uh, the requests, right? And for these priority groups, you can create the priority groups and you can actually, and they will appear right here. So this is what it says, like, Keep your agents focused on business critical queues by customizing priority groups for individual teams in queue settings. But we're still in here. So what we can actually do with this queue. So let's say this open changes, right? If I edit this queue right here. So it is actually showing me and filtering uh, by by now. This is actually the basic filter. But what also you can actually do is to switch to JQL. And when you actually switch to JQL, you can see that this is the issue type of a, of a change and the resolution is basically unresolved. All right. So you can uh, change this and we can also make a new queue. So we are, we're going to be doing that. So let's see these open changes. You can actually delete this. You can also uh, clone your queues in in um, in this specific he uh, way in here. So you can clone it in service requests, incidents, problems, changes, and post incident reviews. And if you actually delete it, it will be gone from this page right here. Um, the best practice for the agents when they're actually having their queues being created and, and also to um, minimize the uh, number really of these uh, queues that are being created because um, your project can scale pretty quickly and you want to keep things uh, decluttered as possible. So you don't want to create some unnecessary queues. So that is one of the uh, good practices in there. So you have the option to also to reorder the queues if you actually want this. So you can say open tasks are going to be here. So they're going to come be, uh, before the incidents and the problems as well. So that is one of the things. So if we actually go ahead and we create our queue in here and we can actually name this queue so how we can name this queue we can name this queue like uh, critical critical requests right and uh, it's gonna ask me to select one of the uh, priority groups i don't have any priority groups just yet and first uh, thing that i'm going to say in here i'm going to say priority priority equals to 
critical. Okay, and so these are the issues that are actually being critical. Now, for these columns, I can uh, customize and I can say which, uh, which columns in here I'm going to need, what is important to me. So I'm going to go without this uh, create it and uh, I can be actually, uh, I can be sure about this one. And let's say priority is critical and I'm going to stay status equals to open. All right, also, so there, but there are a lot of issues in here that uh, my team needs to take care of. And when I create this queue, it's going to be right here. So it's going to be showing this queue right here. And it's saying 162. Uh, the thing is to know that um, in, the, in the queue, the maximum number of issues that you can actually have is 300. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so the another thing that we actually can do in here, so we have these queue settings in here, so I can create priority groups in here. So uh, this could be for the groups uh, that I want to actually have. And let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like critical, critical uh, requests. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go and click on create and I have the uh, critical requests. I can go for queues in here. I can go for editing this queue and now I can select the pri uh, priority group. I save this and it's going to be appearing right here. So it is called the critical requests. Yeah, but I can do something like, for example, critical requests and I can go like open. I'm going to hit save. So now I know when I have these critical requests right here and I know that like a lot of them are actually being open and uh, as uh, as much of as, as agents that we have. So for free agents, it's uh, free agents is actually the free plan, everything above is jumping towards the uh, is jumping towards the standard plan but the thing is um, to actually know and to be um, sure about this this is uh, the way how you can actually um, manage your cues and it's really important to uh, it's really important to really have these um, uh, these cues in here and what is also important for your agents is to actually star these um, these uh, cues because it's gonna like I said it's gonna create like less less things in here. So for example, this one. So cr critical requests and I have and I have it in here, right? So if I go here now, what it happens? If I delete the queue, what is going to happen? This also is going to be gone. But if I start this, and I have this for the priority group, so it's going to be in here. But if I actually start this, it's going to be appearing. It's going to be appearing right here. And also, what happens is if I remove the groups, it's going to say, you know, critical requests, zero of them are actually in here. And what if I also do is I can now delete this group in here. And now it's going to be starred, but it's going to be appearing right here. So the visibility is kind of better when you have it actually starting here. But if you have multiple groups and not having like one group of these things it's um, it's really handful to really group them in uh, one place so that is everything that i had to talk about the uh, queues in the uh, jira service management and how you can actually um, manage your queues uh, so 
in six days I will be in Barcelona for Teams 24. So that is going to be one big hell of a ride. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm looking forward to meet a lot of people there. So whoever is coming to Teams 24, I will be there as well and can't wait for the event. Of course, one more thing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.